it's Amanda and I'm coming to you with day six of 30 inks 30 days and yeah um, we have a special combination in my personal opinion so let's talk about yesterday's ink um, you can see the lovely shimmer we saw this one yesterday this one was dry and I loved it in my Prera I really love this pen I only have this is the only like actual Prera I have and I like always whenever I use it I'm like oh I need to get another one and then I just don't for some reason but um yeah but you could see the look at the shimmer on that it's crazy this ink really like or this page or, sorry it's unfocused this paper just really shows off i love the way that ink looks on this paper but i don't love how it spreads everything out like look at the difference between these texts like it's just it's night and day like this this looks more like a fine i mean it's a japanese medium so it looks more like a fine and this looks more like a normal medium but like when i use a medium medium it looks broad and when i use a broad nib forget it it takes up the whole page so i don't know i don't know like that's the thing that i don't like about this paper but ink looks beautiful on it and writing on it is um usually okay um yeah so so I don't know. So okay, we're going back to my bottle stash and we are going to be uh, using um, an ink that I was given as a birthday gift and haven't used at all yet, um, aside from making swatches. So I'm going to be using Vinta Ink Snakar. I have my bottle right here. My bottle, like, I don't know what happened to it. It like, I don't know, something happened and the label, label got like all messed up. Um, but like the bottle hadn't leaked, so I don't know, something happened, I don't know. But um, I'm gonna do another pen where I know that I say that I always use demonstrators and then I almost always use Twisbees. And, um, oh, my pen is all gross. Why is my pen all gross? Wipe it off a little bit. Um, yeah, we're gonna be using my Pilot Falcon because um, I asked uh, what pen I should put this in and gave a couple of options and this one was the one that was chosen. So um, thank you, friendo, for choosing my pen for today. Uh, yeah, so cool. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to zoom in a little bit on that and we are going to do our writing sample. This is a Pilot Falcon and I have a soft medium nib on here. It's a 14 karat gold nib, and it has that interesting shape. Um, yeah, so it's pretty awesome. So cool. So we're going to go ahead and pretty days. I don't know. Like the first one is always easy, and then I want to be consistent, so I have to check it every single time, even though I know I know what I'm doing. <sighs> April. This is a shimmer ink, um, day six. Actually, when I said I was gonna use a more business appropriate ink, this isn't the one that I had in mind, but this is the one that I was like, oh, wait, I wanna use that ink. So, um, so I changed my mind, okay. Ink is Vinta inks. Oops, in a car. But it's Vinta Ink, so it also has another name, which is um, Mother of Pearl 1934. So we're gonna write that all out here too. Um, I like this, <laughs> speaking of Mother of Pearl, so at, you some of you might not know if you're new here you don't know that i have a cat and her name is pearl well, i have two cats i also have patches but i have a cat named pearl and um one day somebody at work um instead of like swearing or whatever she just like yells out mother of pearl and i just go yes <laughs> and it took her the longest time like she like like minutes passed i'm not even kidding like a minute and then all of a sudden she busts out laughing and she's like mother of pearl <laughs> it was so funny we still talk about it because it was just like i just answered out of nowhere and she's like like it she didn't write she's like who is she talking to so 
So this ink or this pen is fun because oops, you can get some line variation out of it. I don't push it very hard, like ever. But um, oh, this ink is so pretty. Having a little bit of trouble, but I think I'm just like going too fast. Okay. Oops, the. Fox jumps over the lazy dog. Oops. I do that on my Hobonichi. I don't really do that here. Okay, but we do need some splattage. So we're going to do that. I'm going to actually um, shake the bottle a little bit. Sorry, that's my email. <laughs> that lunch break life, yo. I think the shimmer on this ink is a little more subtle from what I remember, but honestly, I haven't really used it that much before. I think I had a sample of it at one point. Um, but yeah, oh gosh, it's so pretty. Yeah, it's in there, but it's very subtle. You can see it like in the zero and the two and the one in the 2021. There's a little in the first 30. I have a feeling it'll show up really nicely on the other paper. Um, yeah, this is an excellent color. Um, so, let's go ahead and I don't have it tilted just enough. Okay, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna... So if I have a pen where I can't, well, even if I can see what's happening, if I set the pen down for too long, um, I do um, rock the pen back and forth just to kind of mix up the shimmer. And um, especially in this pen, it has the Con 40, and so um, it has the little balls in it that agitate the ink. So um, that's why it's rattling. It's because of the, that, the little balls in that uh, converter. Oh my god. I love this on this paper. For all the, oh my god, I hate how it like spreads everything out. I love it on this paper. Um, and I'm just writing normally. I'm not adding any, um, any extra pressure. I do have a somewhat heavy hand, but, um, yeah. I don't remember what order the names go in. I could have looked that up, but... It varies depending on where you look at it. I guess Vinta would know what their name is, so I would probably use that as a source, but I'm not looking it up just now. I ordered this pen right before the sales, uh, or before the sales price went up back in September, and I do not, it was an impulse, even though it was kind of on my radar, um, it was an impulse purchase. Small to medium. Um, but I do not regret it for a single second. Every ink that I've put in here, I just, I just love. I just love. Okay, so fun facts. I wrote down some facts, um, but I have them like all sort of out of order and I'm trying to put them at least in year order. So let's go ahead and make sure that I get the very first one. I bought, I wrote down a bunch of facts in like one birthday. Seven, two, two. 
Peter the Great, Tsar of Russia, and tax on men with beards. I don't know. I thought that was an interesting fact. <laughs> so if you had a beard, you used to get taxed. Kind of rude, but all right. Let's see. This is one that I like that is uh, fun for me back in my photography days. The rest of the fact just says for the first time. Well, obviously, if he's beginning to do it, then yeah. Um, George Eastman begins selling his Kodak flexible rolled film. Look at the shading on this. This is like some severe shading. Um, I like how the 1889 looks. But yeah, I used to um, take pictures and I um, almost exclusively used Kodak film. Um, I would use Fuji film too because I worked I worked in a photo lab, so I pretty much whatever was on sale and I could get the best discount is what I used. But I, um, in in all areas of my hobby, I'm snobby about at least a couple little things, and my film was always kind of one of them. I don't necessarily, you know, I don't know. Kodak was just the like gold standard, quite literally. The container, like the canister, was golden sort of colored. It was really sad when they announced that Kodak was, like, gonna stop making film. I haven't, like, taken pictures in a really long time. Like, like just taken a camera and some film and gone and sh shoot, fo like, go shoot photos. That'd be a fun thing to do. Like, go to San Francisco for the day and just, like, take pictures of things. Um, maybe if I ever get a day off... <laughs> I can't believe the Summer Olympics um, were in April. Like they started in April. It seems like they always start like June or July. Crazy. Okay. Actually, I bought a. I wrote down a lot of facts. One, two. I have two more facts. So 1917. U.S. declares war on Germany. And enters World War One. As a history nerd, I'm way more interested in World War Two. I just always have been. But like that's an that's a that's an interesting fact. Okay, last one. I just thought that was this was kind of cool because I grew up listening to this band. My mom used to listen to ABBA all the time in the car. If it wasn't ABBA, it was Laura Branigan. And those were like the cartoons. Um, yeah, so those are our facts. We have five. Oh, I have one famous birthday because I thought this was cool. I'm sure there, there are more famous birthdays of, of people that are born today. But um, 
this is my favorite of the bunch and I already had a, done, a ton of um, facts. So, so famous birthday, Paul Rudd. I, I'm a big fan, like, and that guy hasn't aged hardly at all. <laughs> I watched Clueless not that long ago and then watched another movie that he was in more recently and I'm like, dang, Paul Rudd has not aged. Um, this is kind of crooked, sorry about that. But yeah, okay, so we're going to do another splat on this paper. And, um... Yeah, see how it goes. I'm gonna do do a straight down splat this time. See what happens. See, see what I don't think I shook it up, so we might not get as much shimmer in this one. Here we go. This gray has some like super shady, shady pants. I love it. Here around the George and the Kodak, it's a little light. Like the light bits are a little too light for my personal preference preferences. But I love I love writing with this pen. I love the way this pen makes my handwriting look. Like I love the way that Olympic looks. And um, yeah, so there you go. There's day six in books. Um, let's see our um, oh here. The shimmer is really. Um, the shimmer is really subtle in the text, but you can see it a lot in that splat right there. Again, it's not like a super shimmer like that Van Diemen's ink from a few days ago. Like this. That's insane. Um, but yeah. Awesome. So we'll see what this looks like tomorrow when it dries. And yeah, I hope that you have a wonderful Tuesday and I will talk to you soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.